This is Michael Saltzman from Blue Sky Bio. In our newest software release, version 4.7 of the Blue Sky Plan software, we introduce new model alignment functionality. The model alignment functionality properly orients the models in space, improving visibility, functionality, and aligning the models to a grid. The software will initiate the functionality automatically in situations where the user is importing models Let's take a look at this functionality by clicking on Model Editing Module and then selecting Import Models. We're able to select one file or we're able to multi-select several files. And this can be done by simply left-clicking on the first file, holding down the Shift key, and then left-clicking on the second, third, fourth, however many files is relevant, and then clicking OK. The software automatically opens the model alignment functionality displaying in front of us the models that we have selected as well as the model file names. Simply left click on one of the models, select the draw type, and then select the type of model. In this situation we're going to be selecting indentulous. Continue to alignment. On the left side of the screen, we have our normal mouse functionality, the left mouse button to rotate, the right mouse button to zoom in and out, and holding down the wheel grabs and moves. The instructions on the right hand side display to us an image of where the dots should be marked as well as textual instructions. We are going to mark the insights of papilla and hemular notches to create a horizontal plane. We are marking the dots simply by holding down the shift key and left clicking. As soon as three dots are marked, the software automatically orients the model properly in space. We have the option of showing or hiding the grid. And if we wanted to invert the model, we can simply click swap orientation. Continue. And we can see now the model in space and we do have the rotation and movement widget available in a situation where we want to fine tune or improve the positioning if necessary. We're able to orient the model on the screen or we are able to click show all and see all of our relevant models that we multi-selected and then orient all the models together. The additional models have automatically been imported and oriented in the software based on the orientation of the first model where we selected. The toggle buttons allow us to toggle on and off the grid as well as the widget. Clicking finish will load the models. Importing and orienting partial arches as well as dentate arches follows a very similar process. Let's take a look at the processes now. multi-selecting the relevant files and here we're looking at partial arches. I'm going to select the upper arch, select maxilla and partial and continue to alignment. The instructions and the image are instructing us to mark three points. We are going to mark one point on one side of the arch, the second point as close to the midline as possible, and the third point opposing the first point. Once three points have been marked, the software automatically aligns the partial arch. We are able to use the movement widget to fine tune the orientation as necessary. We could toggle the grid on and off as well as the movement widget. We're able also to show all the models and the model orientation to each other has been retained by the software. Once we have finished, we simply click the finish button. And lastly, the process flow for importing a dentate arch. Here we're going to hold down the shift key and select three different models. 
and the software displays for us images of all three with their file names. We're going to select one of them, the relevant draw type, and then continue to alignment. We're going to mark our first point on one side of the arch, our second point as close to the middle line as possible, and our third point on the opposing side of the arch. The software orients the model I clicked show all to show all of the relevant models and here I could fine tune the orientation as needed. Click finish and the models have been imported into the software. And we could see that with the processes outlined, the model orientation in the 3D view match the head in the bottom left of the screen. The models can be rotated with the left mouse button by grabbing and dragging, by clicking on the arrows in the bottom left next to the head, as well as by using the top button to change view angle.